Hello everyone and today I'll be teaching you guys syllabus statement 1.1.8 the importance of user documentation. So this was this presentation was actually um, made by a computer science classmate called uh, Navia. She's very talented and she uh, gave me the permission for me to use this PowerPoint to make tutorial videos. So let's get started. First of all, software or source code documentation. What is it? It can be either of these definitions, but I think the second one is much more complex and uh, intricate. Documentation is the technical manual, user manual, or other instructional manual that facilitates the use of a software product or service. So that there is software or source code, source code documentation. So what is documentation? People may ask that. And it is an important part of software engineer. It includes source code, instructional items, error code, error code wherever required. So it may exist in any formats like PDF, Word, manuals, or CDs. So let's say, for example, you got a new, you got new speakers, and sometimes they may ask you to install the or read the manual on a PDF, or sometimes they may attach CD for different tutorials. So yeah, that's just an example. There's also architecture or design, and it includes rel. Uh, relations to an environment and construction principle to be used in design of software components. There are different types of user documentations also such as the requirements and uh, these these are statements that identify attributes, capabilities, characteristics, or qualities of a system. Third of all, there's also marketing. And this is how to make the product an analysis of the market demand. So this links to um, IB business marketing. There's also the technical aspect, which is the documentation of code, algorithms, interface, and APIs. There's also the end user, user document end user documentation, which is manuals for the end user, system administrators, and support staff. Uh, there's also code deployment. It is always helpful to have the deployment instructions documented. There should be information regarding the code uh, repository, where the file updates are found, and where they need to be moved. Just shown with this diagram. So the troubleshooting. Uh, there may be lots of technical issues that have error codes. Uh, that can help with troubleshooting, but data errors sometimes need additional clues as to why something may not be working properly. So, for example, like this particular PowerPoint, um, there, if you click F1 on the keyboard, there is PowerPoint help, and this is a form of troubleshooting. And sometimes, like if your internet isn't working, you may perform the diagnosis test. I think so. It can troubleshoot and find hopefully find the errors so these are the end results um, of user documentations as we because yeah um, happier end users happier service staff fewer support calls improved results times documented workarounds and I then um, there are in this age right now, there are more and more uh, user documentation that are leaning towards video tutorials and how to fix stuff. Also, like online PDFs, so you just download them and hopefully uh, they can help you. So in conclusion, uh, we know that writing documentation takes time, but for developers, it is just it just needs to be functional and updatable. If done up front, documentation will definitely save time and money in the long run. Thank you for watching and thank you to uh, Navia for giving me this, the permission to uh, make videos on this. Hopefully this has helped you all.